Happy Sunshine, family. It's October 24th, 2017. And we're back to take another chunk out of this Presepe document. We read through the main verbiage, and now we got some supporting documents to take a look at. So in the uh, in the first basically four pages, Roman numeral four of Roman numeral four, uh, she basically laid out her case in a very clear and decipherable format. And now we've got supporting documents attached. Uh, declaration of facts continued, uh, initialed by Hat J on September 29, 2017. Got a fingerprint there. And this is document, this is a UCC financing statement amendment, document number 2012-127810. This is page one of eight, filed on November 28th of 2012 at 9.08 a.m., filed and recorded in the official records of Washington, D.C. Recorder of Deeds, Ida Williams, Recorder of Deeds. Uh... This was filed online, a $5 processing fee, a $25 e-record fee, and a $6.50 e-surcharge fee. Name, Heather as Trustee Tucci, 2535094597. Not sure what that number is. Send acknowledgement to Tucci Giraffe, comma, Heather as trustee, Gig Harbor, Washington, 98335. Initial financing statement file is 2000 043135 dash. Oh, no, looks like this was on May 4th of 2000. This is the initial file number that it connects to, and this is an amendment here. All right. This is an, an added, all rights reserved without prejudice, UCC document number, the one that they referenced here, that very first initial one, 2004-3135. The perpetuity is hereby duly amended only to include the following additional collateral as follows. With due standing authority and authorization, and that, that's been highlighted, without prejudice, public policy UCC 1-308, the undersigned do knowingly, willingly, and intentionally make and give this notice of declaration of facts with full personal liability duly secured by oath and bond, duly entered into universal law ordinance, notice by action of due entry into international law ordinance, notice by public registration with additional notice duly made and given under governing law, international law ordinance, UCC document number 2012-113593 and Washington UCC document Number 2012-296-1209-2, Governing Law, Preserved and Protected under UCC Document Number 2004-3135, The Perpetuity, Guaranteed, Protected, and Secured, Public Policy, UCC 1-103, Common Law Remedy, There Under Guaranteed Public Policy, UCC 1-305, Nunc Pro Tunc, Praetera Praetera, unrebutted, restated, and incorporated here by reference as if set forth in full, knowingly, willingly, and intentionally entered into universal law ordinance, noticed by action under the laws of creation. This, November 28th, in the year of our Creator, 2012, as the Creator lives, the foregoing is true and correct, and we are competent to say so. Roman numeral one. All lawful and legal international law ordinances listed out in these UCC documents. I'm not going to read those out verbatim right now. Can I highlight them? Yes, I can. 
All of those are duly reconfirmed and ratified by True Bill UCC document number 2012-114-776 under Governing Law UCC document number 2012-113593, Washington UCC document. Yeah, all these numbers. The Commercial Registry and any and all Uniform commercial codes inclusive of any and all state, national, international, and universal equivalents, UCC, private ownership of full right, title, interest, and ownership thereto duly held in custody thereof, duly entered into international law ordinance, notice by public registration, all restated in their entirety and incorporated herein by reference as if set forth in full, duly verified, reconfirmed, and ratified. So what she's saying is that all of these filings pretend that they are just written right here in full and that they are duly verified, reconfirmed, and ratified. As duly accepted and guarded, preserved and protected by universal trust under the trust of creation, duly established by creation at creation, unrebutted, Nunc pro tunc praetera praetera, unrebutted international law ordinance, UCC document numbers. Some more document numbers. Under perpetuity, another document number. Public policy, UCC 1-103, UCC 1-103, common law remedy, there under guaranteed public policy. UCC 1-305, without prejudice, public policy, UCC 1-308, reconfirming and re excuse me, reconfirming and ratifying international law ordinance, UCC document numbers, 2012-079-290 and 2012-079-322, due notice made and given upon creation with due knowledge received, Public Policy, UCC 1-202, and a Matter of Record, UCC 1-201-31, unrebutted. Two, with due standing authority and authorization. Basically, what she's saying is all these documents here, they're verified and they are unrebutted. So two, with due standing authority and authorization, I, the undersigned bond servant, knowingly, willingly, and intentionally reconfirm, verify, and duly enter into international law ordinance noticed by public registration that I am a creation of the creator, equally one of creation's value asset centers under lawful universal contract, and I am sole custodian and operator thereto thereof and for all that results directly therefrom, with sole personal responsibility and liability thereof, holding my religious creed and dictates of my conscience, inclusive of absolute, unrebuttable truth, knowledge, standing, authority, value, rights, and laws of creation, in any and all existences and manifestations granted by knowing, willing, and international lawful universal contract under the laws of creation, with irrevocable right of free will choice, absent any and all abrogation, subjugation, usurpation, invasion, and violation of any other lawful universal contract made equal under the laws of creation, guaranteed by unconditional love and absolute responsibility, duly entered into universal law ordinance, noticed by creation, duly verified as duly accepted, reconfirmed, and ratified as duly made by and between the bondservant and the creator with mutual value given and received upon the creation of the resulting state of body therefrom, said body, I'm not sure what this word is, begins with a D, by choice in the cancellation at free will choice of the created, notice by action and lack of action, with immediate due audit and reconciliation made by creation thereupon or otherwise upon due request of the created, 
duly ratified as duly made, entered, accepted, and secured under the laws of creation upon my... There's an awful lot of commas in here. I keep waiting for a sentence, but I guess this is legalese way of doing things. A matter of universal record, duly entered into universal law ordinance, noticed by creation, accepted and guarded, preserved and protected by universal trust, under the trust of creation, duly established by creation, at creation, nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera, unrebutted. Article 1 is restated specifically, international law ordinance, UCC document numbers, 2012 11 3593 Washington UCC document number 2012 296 1209 2 under perpetuity 2000 043 135 public policy UCC 1 303 excuse me 1 103 UCC 1 103 common law remedy there under guaranteed public policy UCC 1 305 without prejudice public policy UCC 1-308, reconfirming and ratifying international law, law ordinance UCC document numbers 2012-079-290 and 2012-079322. Due notice made and given and due knowledge received, public policy UCC 1-202 and a matter of record UCC 1-201 subsection 31 inclusive of of upon creation, Article 1 restated in its entirety, and and Genesis 1, Chapter 1 of the King James Bible, Washington Constitution, Article 1, Section 11, Oregon Constitution, Article 1, Section 3, Hawaii Constitution, Article 1, Section 4, U.S. Constitution 4, the United States of America, Article 4, Section 3, Clause 1, and Bill of Rights Amendment 1, the Declaration of Independence. Well, she's pulling out all the stops here for citing documents. July 4th, 19, or 1776, and any and all international equivalents. Roman numeral 3. With due standing authority and authorization, I, the undersigned state of body, knowingly, willingly, and international, or excuse me, intentionally reconfirm, verify, and enter into universal law ordinance, notice by action, duly entered into international law ordinance, notice by public registration that I am a state of body, created by the creator, equally one of creation's value asset centers under lawful universal contract, said state of body domicile by choice on earth without prejudice, and I have sole personal responsibility of opportunity of free will choice and principle of law aligned with common law under the laws of my creator, under the laws of creation, all domicile by creation therein, by and under lawful universal contract, by and between the bond servant and the creator, resulting in the creation of this state of body, duly accepted and ratified as duly made and entered into, with mutual value given and received by and between the bond servant and the creator, upon creation of said state of body and any and all value of creation, domicile by creation therein, Due notice made and given upon creation, accepted and guarded, preserved and protected by public trust, under universal trust, under the trust of creation, duly established by creation, at creation, nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera, unrebutted, hereafter, state of body, nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera, unrebutted, articles 1 through 2 are restated specifically, international law ordinance, and... UCC document number 2012-113593, the Washington documents, the initial financing document, citing UCC 1-103 again, 1-305, 1-308, and 1-201, subsection 31, and 1-202. Well, you know, I am going to... 
pull up the UCC law at Cornell. And let's pop open Give me just a second here and I will have There it is. Okay. Now I just need to find that video. Here it is. All righty, Article 1. And the first one that we're going to look for is 1-103. The uniform, well, let me make this bigger for you guys. Okay. 1-103, construction of uniform commercial code to promote its purpose and policies, applicability of supplemental principles of law. A, the uniform commercial code must be liberally construed and applied to promote its underlying purposes and policies, which are one, to simplify, clarify, and modernize the law governing commercial transactions. Two, to permit the continued expansion of commercial practices through custom usage and agreements of the parties, and three, to make uniform the law among various jurisdictions. Subsection B, unless displaced by particular provisions of the Uniform Commercial Code, the principles of law and equity, including the law merchant and the law relative to capacity to contract, Principal and agent, estoppel, fraud, misrepresentation, duress, coercion, mistake, bankruptcy, and other validating or invalidating cause supplement its provisions. And the next section that she refers to, 1 305. Okay, remedies to be liberally administered. Subsection A, remedies provided by the Uniform Commercial Code must be liberally administered to the end that the aggrieved party may be put in as good a position as if the other party had fully performed, but neither consequential or special damages nor penal damages may be had except as specifically provided in the Uniform Commercial Code or by other rule of law. This means that, well, you know what? The, this is a hyperlink, so let's pull up the definition they have for aggrieved. The aggrieved party means the party entitled to pursue a remedy. So in this case, we're all the aggrieved party uh, that Heather is filing on behalf of. So any remedy provided by UCC must be liberally administered to the end that the aggrieved party, all of us, be put in as good a position as if the other party had fully performed but neither consequential or special damages nor penal damages may be had except as specifically provided in the Uniform, uniform Commercial Code or by other rule of law. So they've got to make us whole. And we've got all these UCC documents that have become law and now we're asking for remedy. We're demanding remedy. We're not asking anymore. And Heather has put the courts on notice that, hey, this is the way the law reads, and this is what has to happen. She's got them on a square on the game board where there's really only one logical choice to make, lawful choice to make. 
And as we're all shining light on them, we're going to observe their behavior, and their behavior is going to communicate to us exactly who they are and where their hearts are and just how evolved they are along their spiritual path. All right, let's take a look at the next one that she mentions. Uh, let's take a look at 1 201. General definitions. Oh, let's, which definition is she referring to? Two hundred one thirty one. Okay. Record. It's a definition of record. It means information that is inscribed on a tangible medium or that is stored in an electronic or other medium that is retrievable in perceivable form. Yeah, so she's saying they're a matter of record right here as defined by UCC 1-201 subsection 31. That's where they define record. So she's saying that these documents here, wow, she's covered all of her bases. Wow, let's do 1-202, take a look at what that is. This is notice. Oh, this is great. Okay. 1-202, notice, knowledgeable, subject to subsection F. A person has, quote unquote, notice of fact if the person, one, has actual knowledge of it, two, has received a notice or notification of it, or three, from all the facts and circumstances known to the person at the time in question has reason to know that it exists. Subsection B, knowledge means actual knowledge. Quote, knows, unquote, has a corresponding meaning. Discover and learn or words of similar import refer to knowledge rather than to reason to know. Okay. These are specific examples of knowledge rather than, yeah, they've got a reason to know. A person notifies, quote unquote, or, quote, gives, end quote, a notice or notification to another person by taking such steps as may be reasonably required to inform the other person in ordinary course whether or not the other person actually comes to know of it. E, subject to subsection F, a person receives, quote unquote, a notice or notification when one, it comes to that person's attention, or two, it is duly delivered in a form reasonable under the circumstances at the place of business through which the contract was made or at another location held out by that person as a place for receipt of such communications. Subsection F, notice knowledge or a notice or notification received by an organization is effective for a particular transaction from the time it is brought to the attention of the individual conducting that transaction and, in any event, from the time it would have been brought to the individual's attention if the organization had exercised due diligence. An organization exercises due diligence if it maintains reasonable routines for communicating significant information to the person conducting the transaction, and there is reasonable compliance with the routines. Due diligence does not require an individual acting for the organization to communicate information unless the communication is part of the individual's regular duties or the individual has reason to know of the transaction and that the transaction would be materially affected by the information. All right. Well, this talks about 
the process by which Heather has taken her grievances and notified, you know, she's made these filings through UCC court and she sent these filings and I'm sure she's got uh, proof of service of all of those. And I remember hearing that after getting no response, uh, after notification, she personally went to these families themselves, went to their houses and spoke with them and gave them in-person notification. Uh, so she has gone way above and beyond the call of duty to make sure that the responsible people here who have hijacked our society have been given notice through the very rules and systems that are set up. All right, let's pop back over to the Presepe. All right, and then she's got in here uh, another restatement of Genesis 1, colon 1 from the King James Bible. We got the constitutions coming back in. All right, Roman numeral 4. Any and all value of each, any and all states of body, equally creation's value, asset centers have been and are lawfully and legally duly secured by duly verified due commercial bill and true bill, unrebutted. Collectively, to any and all lawful and legal systems duly constituted and authorized under governing law, UCC document numbers 2012-113593, and here we've got those listed out again. So articles one through four are restated and the undersigned bond servants, states of body and trustees do knowingly, willingly and intentionally declare, confirm and verify this notice of declaration of facts is knowingly, willingly and intentionally made, sworn and verified as being lawfully and legally duly made, given, known, secured, entered, noticed and knowledge thereof duly received Public policy, UCC 102, so it matches that definition that we just went over. Specifically by any and all principals, agents, and beneficiaries, any and all unlawful, illegal, private money systems, issuing, collection, legal enforcement systems, operating slavery systems under governing law, preserved and protected under perpetuity as herein stated, restated with additional due notice made and given via World Wide Web, further posted at www.peoplestrust1776.org for all states of body, the universe and creation to rely upon and cite lawfully and legally constituting duly verified and bonded underwriting of the value of creation and its value asset centers herein duly identified and duly secured and entered into universal and international law ordinances as a matter of record. Public Policy UCC 1-201-31. We read the definition of record. Notice to principal is notice to agent, and notice to agent is notice to principal. Public policy number UCC-103, without prejudice, UCC-1-308. Nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera. Remember, nunc pro tunc is uh, then as it is now, or now as then. Praetera praetera, moreover, furthermore, and unrebutted. Duly verified as issued with due standing authority and authorization, November 28, 2012, knowingly, willingly, and intentionally made, given, and secured, entered and noticed without prejudice, as promised, preserved, and protected, public policy UCC 1-308, nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera. And then a little signature line, without prejudice, Heather Ann Tucci, giraffe, signed. 929 of 17, Heather Antucci Giraffe as trustee, Heather at peoplestrust1776.org. Here's a phone number. 
There's the website. And then we've got uh, Caleb Skinner as trustee. Hollis Randall Hilner as trustee. So Heather signed it here as bond servant. Heather signed it again as state of body. Any and all international law ordinances, prior corrections made to capacity and standing of the creator created states of body, the several United States of America, and the public trust due to automated filing systems altering original capacity capacities and standing standings without consent restated and incorporated by reference herein as if set forth in full restated here specifically article one debtor names added for indexing and correcting capacity and standing public trust the united states of america a public trust charles c miller an artificial person in legal fiction, Charles C. Miller, an artificial person in legal fiction, Charles C. Miller, DBA, Charles C. Miller, DBA stands for Does Business As, and Bank for International Settlements, or BIS, as principal agent and beneficiary of any and all principals, agents, and beneficiaries of, and any and all unlawful and illegal private money systems thereto, Issuing, collection, legal enforcement systems, operating slavery systems against states of body without said states of body knowing, willing, and intentional consent, nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera, inclusive of United States Treasury, Federal Reserve System at Bank of New York, the one people created by the creator, states of body, the former United States federal government, former United States, the former several states of and any and hmm, doesn't seem to continue that thought. Uh, uh, the public trust, the Bank for International Settlements. So this looks like a just a the last page of that. And then we've got we got the next one starting. All right, so we're through the first UCC document that was attached, and we can see it's it's one of the later ones that that she attached to that. But in this document, she made mention to unlawful and illegal private money systems. That's debt-based money. That's fiat currency. Issuing collection and legal enforcement systems. Means the entire criminal justice system. And the collection, that's basically what court cases are about. That's about collecting their profit from an alleged violation of law. Operating slavery systems against states of body without said states of body knowing, willing, and intentional consent. Well, we are in a slavery system. It's wage slavery. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. This video is a little too long to talk about that right now, but I'll just throw out a little bookmark to speak of my experiences as I went through a falconry apprenticeship program. And at the same time, I was uncovering debt-based money by reading G. Edward Griffin's The Creature from Jekyll Island and also Web of Debt by Ellen Brown. And there were a lot of observations in learning about debt-based money that are very applicable to how a falconer maintains control over a bird of prey. And I had a crisis of conscience and I got out of falconry. And I'm gonna talk about that. Okay. Well, I'm not, 
as familiar with UCC documents as I am with regular criminal procedure documents and transcripts. This is new for me, and we just have to plow through it. The only way we get experience is by making observations. And once we've made enough observations to classify subsections of observations within this facet, then we have developed experience. And so we're doing this all together in real time and we're allowing ourselves to be, you know, a little bit confused about some of this stuff that's going on, some of the UCC code sections that are being cited. And we're just going to unconfuse it by shedding light onto each one of these tiny little aspects one at a time because that's the only way we can do it. If you got any love, light, or links for me, please send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. That's L-U-N-A-S-E-E at protonmail.com. Uh, I'm really getting a lot of high vibrational emails, a lot of high vibrational comments. There is a coalescing of energy, very high vibrational, ascensionary energy that is forming around this issue. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous video about a new TDA case that is arising in Tennessee in Morristown, please do so. That's uh, Perry Buchanan and Tiffany Anderson. Uh, they had some checks made up that drew on their TDA accounts, and they've been arrested, and they're facing court action uh, from the state of Tennessee rather than from the... U.S. district courts. So different, different court systems are, are pursuing charges against people for accessing these accounts through the Federal Reserve. And I have no idea how to advise people, you know, to truly guide them. But I'm just hoping that publicizing their case is going to get the awareness out there to the people who will ultimately be their helpers and their guides and their lawyers if they choose to take on representation that way. I'm not quite sure what's the best way to go now other than to watch how Heather's case plays out because I I feel like that's that's really the next step for anybody who's, who's sitting around here wondering what to do as far as accessing their TDA account. I think it's to, I think it's to sit tight and to inform ourselves about the true nature of the court systems. And there's so much deception that we've got to proceed very carefully and deliberately so that we come to a place of knowing. And that's what this video is about. It's taking a little bit more than a half hour of time to just lay eyes on this, <clears throat> to make some audible sounds about this, and to check out some different sources and to see which observations correspond and if we got some checks and balances that feel right. This is how we author our perception, self-authoring perception live in the moment. I just want to ask that Grace shed her light on all sides of this issue and infuse those people who are due in a spiritual sense to act next, that they have the courage to follow their hearts and stand up for what's truly right under the eyes of grace. Thank you. I'll be back soon.